All right, then another one in Europe, we have the CAPT in Spain, which is the Cultural Ambassadors Program for Teaching English in Spain. It's run by the Spanish Ministry of Education, Culture and Sport, and it places up to 2,500 American and Canadian citizens to teach English in Spanish primary and secondary schools. So you need to be either uh, American or Canadian in order to qualify for this particular program. Um, and if you work in this program, it requires you to work a set number of classes per week and you get a stipend of 700 euros per month. You also get health insurance coverage and a long stay work visa. <laughs> oh, hi. Thank you. Hi from, hi from Korea. Hi to Angola. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay. So when to apply, you can actually apply uh, now. It's still running until January 27th, um, the period for the 2021-2022 school year. So if that's something that you're interested in, you should start applying after January 27th. And the requirements, yeah, you need to be American or Canadian aged between 21 and 60. So that age gap is pretty broad. So that's really good. Mm. Okay, there's a little bit more information about this program. Again, what you need to do in order to um, submit your application. So you also should have some Spanish, oh, they provide extra points, Spanish language skills. So college transcripts, high school records, anything that sort of shows that you have Spanish language skills is beneficial. You need to prove physical and psychological sustainability. Uh, suitability, excuse me. So a medical form is required. I believe they would give you that medical form that you need to fill out. Um, any academic achievements, your bachelor's. A bachelor's is a minimum, it says. And yeah, any previous teaching experience, any previous work with children, any experience abroad is um, something you need to submit. And then TEFL or TESA qualification is not necessary, not compulsory but um, highly beneficial. So as you can see, the more uh, you submit, the more stuff you can submit, the better it is, the higher your chances are to get into this program. So also here, how to apply, you need to also sub submit a uh, statement of purpose, so an essay, but this can be in English, not in Spanish, like the other one was French. So 250 to 300 words, a uh, statement of purpose, why you wanna be on that program, a cop copy of your uh, reference letter from your employer or university, copies of your degrees and diplomas and TEFL certificates and all that, and also a, cop a copy of your valid US or Canadian passport. And then check out educacionyfp.gob.es. <laughs> that's a hard one. And that's their official website. So if that's something that you're interested in, teaching English in Spain, because it can get uh, difficult for non-EU citizens to secure work visa visas to teach abroad, especially in, not abroad, but in Europe, um, this program is really good because it's focused on um, Americans and Canadians. So that's a great way to sort of get your foot into the door in Europe. All right, let me take a look at the comments here. We have another one from Vidya. What is the course to learn online teaching? Age limit for JEP program is a damper and that, that I was not aware of. So online teaching would be good in the future. Okay. Well, um, so I would still recommend reaching out to the JEP program, to the people there to make sure, you know, in your case, maybe depending on your qualifications and you're already in Japan, you have other options despite your age. You never know. Like I said, I'm not from the JET program. I'm not from there. I'm just telling you what I researched, right? So there might be some loophole that I'm not aware of in terms of age that might be um, good for you. So I recommend reaching out to them, you know, email them, call them, if they have an office where you are, you know, just go there and ask questions. Um, the course for online teaching, um, you can find that on our website. So if you go to teflcourse.net and you go to 
uh, you either, because you already have a TEFL, right? So you would need the specialization. So you can look at where it says online courses and then specialization or specialized TEFL courses. And there it is the online specialization. But I can also drop the link into the comment box in a little bit for you if you like. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.